Hi class, this is a brand new project for the art room here at Boise LA Humboldt. It's called a drone's eye view and you can see I got this idea from an art supply company but it was so cool and so inspiring I thought we should try it. It also will demand a whole new level of patience and some creativity and problem solving things that are so important for artists. So the idea is you are creating a landscape a picture of the earth but from above it's the way a bird sees the earth it's the way a drone can see the earth and it's the way a google satellite will show the earth something from above the first step is to choose your view and i've provided several to you you'll be using artist tape to stick it nice and straight onto a fancy piece of black paper. I only have one piece of paper, so please treat it very well. The artist tape will make it so you can tape this down, but then it removes nicely from the paper. So the really time consuming part, and you can spend a whole hour doing this, um, but it's also kind of fun, is to go over the details that you like in your map with a ballpoint pen. Underneath of the picture and underneath of your black paper that's taped to it is a soft surface like a piece of foam or a piece of fabric or even a little stack of newsprint so that as you trace with your ballpoint pen, you aren't poking holes or anything but you're pressing through the softness of that surface underneath and leaving a bit of an impression. So. This is how it works after you're done tracing. You slowly remove that piece of taped on map that's now been traced and ballpoint penned. You take that off the top and then I'll have a piece of charcoal for you. Do this part really carefully. You're just lightly using a straight piece of charcoal to brush across the surface and it'll reveal those debossed lines so that you can see every detail you just left on the black paper. If you begin to rub on this pastel, you won't have those lines anymore, and it'll be a lot harder for you to have a cool looking piece of art, because then you're relying on only what you're about to do next. Try not to rub or smear your pastel at this point. Keep it just lightly, straightly dusted on. So the last step is going to be fun. We're using watercolor, tiny little watercolor brushes, tiny little colored pencils to start to add color right onto that chalk pastel. The chalk pastel is gonna make the color glow on the black paper and it's going to make your map really beautiful. Just use small amounts of water and clean your brush in between colors so that you can have bright, vivid colors and just paint right up to the line, leaving those lines as a little barrier between your areas of color. So, to get started today, you are choosing your map, and you can see here I chose, this is actually my neighborhood, you might not recognize it, right in the center is where my house is, and the park nearby I wanted to be sure and capture. You can see with my red pen all of the places that I thought were important. I did every single street. I did all of the natural areas. I did the Max Railroad with a special technique. I wrote my name very nicely in the lower right-hand corner of the black paper. I even lifted it up so you can see where I wrote it so that my artwork doesn't get confused with anyone else's even if I don't finish my ballpoint pen during this class period. We're going to play relaxing music, you're going to have rulers, and you're just going to patiently trace through any of the important and beautiful things on your map that you want to be in your art. All right, let's get started by connecting you with the map of your choice.